Hey guys, I got a couple of requests for how I curl my hair, so I thought today I'd sit down and show you what I use and how it's done. So we'll get started right away. My first step is to separate the hair into two sections, the upper and the lower. So basically I just go across the middle, twist the top, take a little clip, and just make sure that it's out of my way. I'll then use a hairbrush like this one from Conair to just kind of smooth out the tangles. And this is what my hair looks like when I wake up. It's not really wavy, it's not really straight, it's somewhere in between. So if I'm not gonna shampoo it in the morning, this is usually how I will style it. I'll generally split the bottom half into two sections just using my fingers. I use um, this volumizing tonic from Aveda. I love the smell, it smells like natural plant smells and it's a really nice fragrance. And also I like this because it's not sticky and it's not crunchy. So it's like a version of a hairspray that helps hold the curls in place, but it's not like hairspray because I can't really stand the way hairspray makes my hair feel all crunchy and sticky later. So I'll put a little bit of this in and then I'll brush through to make sure it's distributed evenly. And that's only like two or three sprays for this whole section. So I don't use a lot of it, but I do find that when I use it, it makes the curls last longer. So then I'll section out starting from the back section. I'm gonna take this small kind of thin, maybe one inch section of hair, and then I'll hold the curling wand. This is the Con Air U Curl curling wand, the largest size, I believe it's one and three quarters inch. And you're gonna hold it facing down, and then you're gonna twist around, excluding that last one to two inches of hair. You keep your fingers at least one to two inches away so you don't burn them. And then see, I also don't go up to the roots too. So I'm really just curling the middle of the hair strand. So you wanna hold this about five counts and then you're gonna let it down. That's the result. So I'll just continue going by taking these small sections and try to keep all the sections pretty uniformly the same size and using the same method, you can either go in alternating directions to help the curls separate from each other, or if you want them to blend together, you can do all the curls in the same direction. Okay, so once you have that section all the way done, Try not to brush it out or run your fingers through it. Just let it cool as it is and then move on to the next section. Same steps here. I'm gonna give it a couple of sprays and then brush it out. And then starting from the back first, pulling that piece through. Make sure it's a thin enough section and then just curl from the middle down to one to two inches from the ends. Okay, so once all the sections are done on the bottom, you're gonna take down the top and kind of loosen it up. Same thing, I'm gonna split the top kind of down the middle and just separate it so that it lays on each side of the head. So you make sure you don't miss any of the back. Okay, then you're gonna separate that section and you're gonna give it its own couple of spritzes of this volumizing tonic. Then we begin same way with the back first, taking a thin strand, just keep the rest in the front and then here on the top, I'll actually start a little bit lower. So I'll go like midway or even more down the hair and then go maybe just three to four turns. I don't want these curls to be too high and tight close to my roots. I prefer more of a loose wave look. So that way the curl just starts kind of like halfway down already and it's really just waving the ends. And I'll continue this all the way to the front. Sometimes I have to check and make sure that I didn't miss a piece and if I find one in the back, just go ahead and grab it and curl it. It doesn't have to be perfect section by section, but just kind of grab and go with pieces that you find. Once you get to this front piece, you usually prefer it away from the face. So that means I hold the curling iron on the back of the hair and then I wrap away from my face. Ta-da! You can kind of run your fingers through the hair to break up the curls if you want them to be looser or you can leave them tighter. But once I am done with this section, I'll just go ahead and take my spray and just make sure that it lightly covers all of it. And on to the next section. So try to separate the straight pieces from the curled pieces. And then again, spritzing this side and brushing it through. And I start from the back.
And this last piece in the front, like I said, I usually prefer to go away from the face. And that's it. So again, I'll break these curls up with my fingers and give them a little spritz. And there we have it. And if you want it to be a softer curl, you can take your hairbrush and just brush through and loosen up those waves, which I actually like that look, so I'd say I usually do brush through it. But if you want the separated looking curls, you can also leave them that way and even take a little more product on your fingers like this and then run through individual curls to kind of separate them more. So it just depends on the look that you like. And this is usually my favorite look, nice, soft, flowing waves. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing how I curl my hair. I much prefer using a wand like this over a curling iron with a clip like I used to use. I feel like these are the new like curling iron of the future and everybody's loving them. So this is my favorite way to curl and hopefully you liked it too. Leave me a comment in the section below um, if there's any other type of hair tutorial or anything related to beauty that you would like to see and um, let me know what your favorite hair curling products are in the comment section below. You can find everything I use, the links to get them on Amazon, also in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah.